Hello and welcome to SL Productions and the third part of my in-depth DVD collection. Yes, I know I haven't done the second part yet. I am waiting for the Macro Terror to arrive. So I decided to do the third part and then go back to the second part. Yeah, it is a bit weird that I'm doing the third part before the second part. But I have got the complete era for the third Doctor, and I haven't yet got the complete era for the second Doctor. So yes, we will begin with Spearhead from Space, John Pertwee's first story as the Doctor. I think it's a brilliant start to his era as the Doctor. I think it's a really good introduction to the Autons, an introduction to Unit as regular characters. Yes, I know they appeared in a couple of stories prior to this, but this is when they become regular characters, and I do think it's a very strong story. I really like the plot. It's entertaining and I think Spare from Space is great. I would personally rate it a 10 out of 10. Next up, we do have Doctor Who and the Silorians, the introduction to the Silorians, and my personal favourite Silorian story. Yes, Warriors of the Deep isn't great and Cold Blood isn't great either. But I do like Doctor Who and the Silorians. I do think Doctor Who and the Silorians is great. Great introduction to the Silorians. A really good story. Does go on a bit too long, I think. I think seven parts is a bit too long. It should be maybe six parts. I just think that one episode makes it drag. But anyway, Doctor Who and the Silorians, I think it's a great story. And I would personally rate it an 8 out of 10. Next up. We do have The Ambassadors of Death. Now, The Ambassador of Death, I really like. I really do like this story. I think it's underrated. Great plot. Really do enjoy it. Again, it is seven parts, so it is a bit too long. But other than that, it's a great story, and I would personally rate it an 8 out of 10. Finally, for Season 7, John Pertwee's first season as The Doctor, we do have Inferno Special Edition. Another seven parts, I really do like Inferno. Do you think it's a bit under overrated, but it's still great. Really do enjoy Inferno, I think it's a great concept with the alternative universe. I really do like Inferno, and I personally rate this story another 8 out of 10. Moving on, we do have Terror of the Autons. The second story to feature the Autons and the first in the Master Series, aka Season 8 of Doctor Who. Really do like Terror of the Autons, think it's quite underrated. Introduction to Joe Grant and introduction to the Master, think it's a great story. And I would personally rate it an 8 out of 10. Yes, there has been a lot of 8 out of 10s. Next up, we do have The Mind of Evil. Excellent story in my opinion, really do love The Mind of Evil. The master in this story is great, love the plot for The Mind of Evil, and I personally rate this story a 9 out of 10. I think The Mind of Evil is quite an underrated Doctor Who story, but I love The Mind of Evil, I think it is great. Next up, we do have the Claws of Axos Special Edition. A bit overrated in my opinion, still good. I personally rate it a 7 out of 10. I don't think it's as great as a lot of people say it is. But yeah, the Claws of Axos, brilliant. The Master is in it. And yeah, really do enjoy the Claws of Axos. Now moving on, we do have Colony in Space, the penultimate story in the Master Series. Really enjoy Colony in Space, I think it's a great story. It's the first story since the War Games not to be set purely on Earth. Colony in Space is when the Doctor basically gets his TARDIS back for temporary use to track down the Master who has escaped to this planet. Enjoy Colony in Space, find it quite underrated and I'll personally rate it an 8 out of 10. Finally, for season 8, the final one in the Master Series, we do have The Daemons. Now, The Daemons I love. I think The Daemons is an excellent story starring John Pertwee as The Doctor. The Master is great in this story. Really do enjoy The Daemons. I think it has a great setting, a great plot, and I would highly recommend The Daemons. I would personally rate The Daemons a 9 out of 10. Now, on to season 9, starting with... The Day of the Daleks, or Day of the Daleks. Now, Day of the Daleks, I do enjoy, I think it's great. It was a lot better the second time I watched it, like a lot of Doctor Who stories. The first time I watched some Doctor Who stories, they're not great, but then the second time, I really appreciate them. And then there's other Doctor Who stories, which I watched the first time, really enjoy them, and then the second time, they're not as good. But The Day of the Daleks, watched for a second time, and it was great. Really do enjoy Day of the Daleks, I think it has an excellent plot, I really love the plot for this story. Yes, the Dalek voices aren't the best, but if you watch the special edition, the Dalek voices are a lot better, as they've re-recorded them. 
Next up, we do have the Curse of Peladon. Not great in my opinion, really don't like the Curse of Peladon. I think it's the weakest story in John Pertwee's era so far, which I've covered in this video. And I would personally rate this story probably a 5 out of 10, and I forgot to rank Day of the Daleks, which I'd rate an 8 out of 10. Next up, we do have the Sea Devils. The first Sea Devil story, the only other Sea Devil story, is Warriors of the Deep, which isn't great. And this is the better story, in my opinion. Do love the Sea Devils, think it's a great episode, a great base under siege episode, while well, the first two episodes are. The Master in the story is absolutely brilliant, probably one of my favourite Master stories, and yeah, really do enjoy the Sea Devils. And I personally rate the Sea Devils a 9 out of 10. Next up, would you have the mutants? Now the mutants is an underrated story in my opinion. It does go on a bit too long, but I quite like the mutants. It's not as bad as everyone says it is. Really do enjoy the mutants. Great concept in my opinion. Love the setting. And yeah, I'd personally rate the mutants probably a 7 out of 10. A lot of people rate it a 4 out of 10 or a 2 out of 10. I personally rate the mutants a 7 out of 10. So yes. Moving on, we do have the Time Monster, another underrated one in my opinion. I actually quite enjoyed this story. I went into this story with low expectations, but when I watched this story, I couldn't really see the hate for it. Yes, the monster in it is a bit fake, but I do quite enjoy this story. I think it's a load of fun, this story, and I really enjoy the Time Monster. There's some brilliant mythology development for the Doctor. When he talks about Gallifrey, I love that scene, that's really great. And yeah, I really do enjoy the Time Monster. And I personally rate the Time Monster an 8 out of 10. Yes, an 8 out of 10 seems high, but I enjoy it. So yes, moving on to John Pertwee's penultimate season as the Doctor. Starting with the Three Doctors, the 10th anniversary to Doctor Who. It's a special edition, really enjoy the Three Doctors, think it's a great story, a great way to celebrate Doctor Who's anniversary. The second Doctor is back, the first Doctor is back, and yeah, the Daleks ain't back, the Cybermen ain't back, ain't back. But yeah, the first and second Doctors are back in this story, and I really do enjoy the Three Doctors. I think it's a great concept, love Omega in this story, I think Omega is great, and a really enjoyable anniversary special for Doctor Who. Next up, we do have Carnival of Monsters Special Edition. In my opinion, I don't like Carnival of Monsters, I think it's overrated, don't like it, think it's really silly. And yeah, I'd personally rate Carnival of Monsters probably a 5 out of 10. I really don't enjoy Carnival of Monsters. I think it's overrated and I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy Carnival of Monsters and yeah, don't enjoy this one. Next up, we do have Frontier in Space. I like Frontier in Space. I think it's a great episode. The Draconians in it are great. The final story to feature Roger Delgado's master as sadly he died in a car crash. But yeah, I do enjoy Frontier in Space. It's a great episode. Well, a great story. It is six episodes. And yeah, quite a good prequel to Planet of the Daleks. However, Planet of the Daleks doesn't live up to this story. The prequel is better than the sequel. Next up... We do have Planet of the Daleks. In my opinion, I don't like Planet of the Daleks. I just don't. I think it's cheap. A lot of recycled elements in the story. The set designs aren't very good. Don't like the plot. Think it's silly. And yeah, I don't like Planet of the Daleks. I'd personally rate Planet of the Daleks a 4 out of 10. Saying that, I forgot to rate the story, which I'd rate a 7 out of 10. Finally, for John Pertwee's penultimate season as the Doctor, we do have the Green Death Special Edition, Joe Grant's final story as a companion. Really do love the Green Death, think it's a great story. Love the concept, the giant maggots, yeah, they're a bit fake. And the CGI in this story is fake as well. Hate the CGI in this story. But other than that, it's a great plot and I think it's a brilliant departure for Joe Grant. And I personally rate this story a 9 out of 10. Now moving on to John Pertwee's final season as the Doctor and we will start with The Time Warrior, Sarah Jane Smith's first story and the first story in John Pertwee's final season as the Doctor. Introduction to the Sontarans and the first mention of Gallifrey is in this story and I think The Time Warrior is excellent. I really do enjoy The Time Warrior. When I first watched it, I didn't like it. I didn't see the hype for this story. But when I rewatched it recently, I really, really enjoyed this story. I thought it was great, a brilliant concept, and I would highly recommend this Doctor Who story. I'd personally rate it 
a 10 out of 10. Yes, a 10 out of 10. Next up, we do have Invasion of the Dinosaurs. I don't really like Invasion of the Dinosaurs. I think the dinosaurs in this story are fake and don't look great. The plot is a bit far-fetched. And yeah, I don't really like Invasion of the Dinosaurs. And I personally rate Invasion of the Dinosaurs a 6 out of 10. Next up, we do have Death to the Daleks, an underrated Doctor Who story in my opinion. I think Death to the Daleks is brilliant. The music in this story isn't great, it's not sinister at all when the Daleks appear. But other than that, I think it's a really good underrated Doctor Who story and we'll personally rate it a 9 out of 10. The penultimate John Pertwee story, the final one I actually watched, and this is The Monster of Peladon. A lot better than The Curse of Peladon in my opinion, not great, but I do enjoy this story. I'd personally rate it a 7 out of 10. And finally, we do have Planet of the Spiders, John Pertwee's final story as to Third Doctor. Brilliant in my opinion, really enjoy this story, think it's great, and a really good send-off to John Pertwee's Doctor. So yes! I personally rate the story as well a 9 out of 10. So that is it. My third part, aka second part, of my in-depth Doctor Who DVD collection. Until the next time, goodbye.